हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम प्रोफेसर पल्लवी देव कातिल वेलकम्स यू टू नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इलेक्ट्री इकॉन थ्री फाइव फोर कोर्स टाइटल इज एग्री बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट ओके इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अबाउट प्रोजेक्ट एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट ओके दैट मीन्स द प्रोजेक्ट इट इज एन इन्वेस्टमेंट एक्टिविटी ऑन विच वी स्पेंड मनी इन एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ रिटर्न दैट वी कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोजेक्ट ओके इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्रोजेक्ट लाइफ साइकिल ओके सो डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट लाइफ साइकिल दैट इज इट टेंड्स टू बी नेचुरल सिक्वेंस इन द वे द प्रोजेक्ट आर प्लान एंड कैरीड आउट एंड दिस सिक्वेंस इज ऑफन कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोजेक्ट साइकिल दैट मीन्स देर इज अन नेचुरल सिक्वेंस on which project is planned and implementation is carried out this sequence is known as project cycle okay so in this project cycle there are different phases of project cycle so there are major six phases of project cycle in that first one that is conception phase it is also called as identification second one formulation or it is also called as preparation of project then third stage that is appraisal or analysis of project then implementation monitoring and last phase that is evaluation phase okay so we see one by one these different phases of project cycle so first phase that is conception or it is also called as identification of the project so this is the first and most important phase of project cycle in this first step you will be find the different ideas of the project okay in agricultural project the cost are identified then the benefit because expenditure pattern is easily visualized that means in this identification phase we can identify the different cost as well as benefit which are taken from that particular project okay so first of all the different cost which are involved in project that can be identified in this first phase of project okay so these are the different types of cost in that first one that is project cost associated cost then primary or direct cost indirect cost real cost or nominal cost and last one that is social cost okay so first one that is project cost so this project cost include the value of resources in maintaining and operating of the project that we called as a project cost that means whatever the value of resources in maintaining as well as operating of that particular project that cost is called as a project cost then second type of cost that is associate cost so this associate cost include producing immediate product and services of the project for the use or sale that is called as associated cost okay after that third type of cost that is primary cost or direct cost so this primary cost or direct cost which is incurred on construction maintenance and execution of the project that means this primary cost or direct cost are the expenditure on construction maintenance and execution of the project then next type that is indirect cost or secondary cost so this indirect cost include the value of goods and services incurred in providing indirect benefit from the project such as houses school hospital etc these cost are included in indirect cost of that particular project next one that is real cost and nominal cost the cost at current market prices are called as a nominal prices that is whatever the cost calculated on current market price that we call as a nominal price whereas cost which can be deflated by general price level that we call as a real price okay and last type of cost that is social cost so this social cost are the technological externalities which accrue to society due to the presence of project okay for example 
कॉस्ट इनक्योर्ड ऑन पोल्यूशन प्रॉब्लम हेल्थ हजार्ड सलिनिटी कंडीशन एक्सेट्रा आर इंक्लूडेड अंडर सोशल कॉस्ट सो दीज आर दी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कॉस्ट विच कैन बी आइडेंटिफाइड इन फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज आइडेंटिफिकेशन नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ बेनिफिट सो देर आर मेजर टू टाइप्स ऑफ बेनिफिट इन दैट फर्स्ट वन टेंजिबल बेनिफिट्स एंड सेकेंड वन इज इन टेंजिबल बेनिफिट्स सो दिस टेंजिबल बेनिफिट्स आर द इंक्रीमेंटल इनकम ड्यू टू द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑप्टेन दैट वी कॉल एज अ टेंजिबल बेनिट ओके दैट मीन्स वॉट एवर द इंक्रीमेंटल इनकम विच इज वी गेट ड्यू टू द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट obtain either from increased value of production or from reduced the cost that we call as a tangible benefit and second one that is intangible benefit that means these include the better income distribution then national integration better standard of living that are included in intangible benefit that means this intangible benefits these are the indirect benefit which is obtained from that particular project this is the second that is identification of benefit okay so in identification stage the process of identification is carried out in three steps in that first one is, that is preliminary study second one is pre feasibility study and third one that is project report okay from this sources we can identify the project ideas cost and benefits of the project this is the first phase of project cycle that is identification okay after that second phase that is formulation or preparation of project so while formulating the project different points to be considered in that first and major important point that is location of the project or site selection of the project can be considered while formulating project then while formulation technical analysis must be taken into consideration whatever the technical parameters uh, for all goods and services that can be considered while formulating a uh, preparation of the project then assessment of suitability and adequacy of natural resources in advance based on the scientific inves investigation okay while formulation we can take the suitability as well as uh, availability of natural resources and last one that is consideration of all the organizational as well as socio economical aspect while formulation of the project okay while formulation of project the project can be formulated on the basis of different aspect okay so these aspects are first one that is commercial aspect so under commercial aspect it can focus on estimation of effective demand ability of input supply then arrangement of input output marketing then market potentially etc can be analyzed under commercial aspect then next one that is technical aspect so under this technical aspect all the technical factors are considered while formulation of the project then next one that is uh, financial aspect so while formulation of the project take all the financial aspect that means assistance of finance terms and condition of ob obtaining finance from financing agencies then uh, different farm planning and farm budgeting also the cash flow chart can be work out by under this financial aspect next one that is managerial aspect so under this managerial aspect the manager plays an important or very crucial role for effective management so it is need to identify the beneficiary items Uh, in the management that means managerial ability then managerial skill etc can be considered while formulating this managerial aspect next one 